Out of all the videos and drinks I've done, probably over 150 by now, there's not been a more perfect storm of coming across a drink like this one today. Over the past many, many months, I've been thinking of ways to incorporate the cream syrup from the Tropical Standard Book into more cocktails. That's the same cream syrup used at existing conditions in New York. It's simple, yet so good and delicious. Existing Conditions was a bar in New York owned by Dave Arnold, Don Lee, and Greg Bone. It opened in 2018 and was unfortunately one of the many business victims of COVID. While I was trying to find use for the cream syrup, I've also been trying to find good Frangelico cocktails, which is hard to come by. I've had this bottle sitting over here for about a year and a half now, just collecting dust. Growing up, even as a kid, I remember certain iconic liqueur bottles, Kahlua, Galliano, Chartreuse, and the other monk one with the strings, Frangelico. One evening, I was thinking about both of these ideas separately, the cream syrup and Frangelico, and I randomly decided to search for old existing conditions menus uh, just for fun. This is how I spend my evenings now. I came across a drink called the White Flag. This drink had the cream syrup, check. Frangelico, check. Cold brew, I love cold brew, so check. And drum roll please, rum. Check, check, check. But after a quick Google search, I realized the drink was not out there in the world. Just some Instagram posts from existing conditions, and then the menu. But luckily, I thought I might know somebody. So I asked a guy that used to work at existing conditions, and he connected me to another guy that happened to be the guy that created the drink. Jack Schramm was the head bartender at existing conditions for its entire existence. Jack had worked at Booker and Dax with Dave Arnold before existing conditions, and you can even find videos of him right here on YouTube from his time as the head bartender for Pernod Ricard. Currently, Jack is the co-owner of Solid Wiggles with Jenna Derman, and they make boozy and non-alcoholic jelly shots and cakes. You can find them online and Instagram, and they make stunning jelly shots and even more beautiful cakes. If you are not in the New York area, you can even order their cakes through Gold Belly. And that kind of birthday cake, that's probably perfect for this audience. And if you want to send me one, you can send me one on my tie day. Not only was Jack gracious enough to share with me the recipe, but he also shared a little more about the backstory. When existing conditions opened, they inherited bottles from the previous tenant. Jack had never used Frangelico because no one under 60 years old ever has and he made it as a joke to Dave and Don. It turned out that everyone loved it and it was on the menu at existing conditions on day one. It was Don Lee who came up with the name because once you order a white flag, you can't drink anything else. The evening is over. You've raised the proverbial white flag. For this one, you'll need a saline solution that's one part salt to four parts water, a cold brew concentrate, cream syrup, frangelico, and rum. I'm gonna make this exactly as Jack shared with me, which is using La Cologne Cold Brew Concentrate and Real McCoy 5. The cream syrup is easy to make and I'll leave a link to when I made it for the Bird of Paradise from Tropical Standard. It's cream, sugar, and citric acid. Super easy to make. If you don't have Real McCoy 5, another aged Bajan rum will do as well. Maybe even an aged Spanish heritage rum, but for your first time making this, I'd probably steer clear of the Jamaican rums. So let's make and drink the white flag from existing conditions. Fill this in a small shaker tin with four drops of a saline solution, a quarter ounce of a cold brew concentrate, a quarter ounce of Frangelico, one ounce of cream syrup, and two ounces of Real McCoy 5. some ice to your tin and shake. I'm gonna strain this into a chilled coupe.
There's no surprises on this one. I've had this recipe for about a month and I've probably made it seven, eight, nine, ten times now. So let's let's try the white flag. Probably should have mentioned for those of you that don't know that Frangelico is a hazelnut liqueur, so it's a pretty strong hazelnut flavor. Just a quarter of an ounce, it's still like very hazelnut forward. So it's something where you kind of have to like that flavor. I like hazelnut and coffee, so it works for me. The cream syrup is, it's hard to explain. I, the first time I had it, I just thought, well, this is really good. But once I had it more, I realized it's really, it tastes like a cream cheese frosting syrup because of that uh, citric acid in there, kind of gives it that tang of a cream cheese and then the sweetness from like a frosting. That tangy acid note from that cream syrup, it, it's much more diluted when it's in the cocktail. So if you just kind of tried the syrup on its own, but provides a nice level of complexity and uh, a little more balance to the drink. By using an ounce of it, you might think it'd be uh, a little bit sweet or, or too sweet, but it's not. With the rum, with the cold brew concentrate, it just works. But once you have one of these, you should never order an espresso martini ever again. That's it for this one. A huge thank you to Garrett Richard who connected me to Jack. And uh, a huge thank you to Jack Schramm because not only did he share this recipe with me, but he shared so incredibly enthusiastically and even shared the backstory and how it got its name from Don Lee. So thank you to Jack for sharing this with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel. Please make this drink, try it. And I don't know, if you don't like this drink, then maybe you should give up or maybe I should give up. I don't know, one of us should give up if you don't like it. See you on the next one.